Hi, good morning, Ashley. Hi, everyone. Good Sunday morning to you. Well, you can see the haze is still a part of our atmosphere. That's a hair and dust, not as widespread. I'll show you kind of the particles and show you how much we're seeing. But right now, just live look at radar, and you can see we do have just a few isolated showers. Again, mostly I-20 points north. And you can see right now through Dahlonega, a little bit of rain moving through, heading toward Helen, just north of Tate, Tacoa as well, a few rain showers. But this is what happened yesterday. Look at this 24-hour rainfall total. On the whole, anywhere between a half an inch and an inch and a half. And I-20 north, look at that dividing line. That's where all the storms were. And some of these totals, 1.2 inches, 1.3. At the airport officially, just about a quarter of an inch of rain, but some areas, rain was coming down Coupled with these strong gusty winds, the rain was blowing sideways. Uh, thus, of course, with all the rain on the ground, the saturated ground, and then the winds, we did see a lot of trees down, and power outages as well. But here's a look at the current picture this morning. There's the satellite and radar, and there's the radar. You can see the rain moving from west to east pretty rapidly. South of I-20, just some low clouds. We will see more in the way of sunshine today. Here's one little isolated shower right over Washington right now. Had some lightning with it. It kind of dissipating and weakening as it moves southeast. As we head through today, we will see a little more sunshine, so partly sunny skies. We will see bit, a bit more of a blue sky. This is 11 o'clock, partly sunny, warm. South of I-20, it will be a summer scorcher today. At noon, we're all still dry. But once again, the initiation in northwest Georgia from Rome to LJ to Canton for a few isolated storms, any one of which could have some small hail, lightning, winds, heavy rain, similar to yesterday. But I don't think we'll see as much much in the way of coverage, but any of these single cells certainly could be quite strong. That's about initiating between about 3 and 8 o'clock, and then by 10 o'clock, skies are dry, just maybe a shower or two. A lot of these are diurnally driven, meaning with the heating of the day, and then when the sun sets at 10 of 9, things begin to quiet down, and it's mostly quiet by 10. Here's the severe risk, the SPC giving us a level 1 out of 5. Again, it's northeast Georgia. You can see maybe towns, Rabin, Habersham, Banks, Hall counties, but not just exclusively, because even yesterday, this was not even in the area where we had all those severe storms. Current temperature, it is hot, 74 in Atlanta, 75 in Locust Grove, and it's also quite humid. So here's the heat index, what it feels like and will feel like at 10 o'clock, 85 already in Atlanta. At noon, feeling like the 90s this afternoon, 94 is what it will feel like south of Atlanta, even 97 in in Rome. So we've got really one of the hottest days we've had all year long, even at 10 o'clock tonight. Where those numbers are cooler, like Blairsville, uh, that means, and this is intimating that some showers have moved through and the temperatures are much cooler. South of that still feeling like 80s, though, from Griffin East. Here's the Saharan dust, but we're going to see actually one more round of it. It's now kind of coming across the Atlantic, but by next Saturday, you can see it's still south. So this was kind of what we saw yesterday in terms of particles, the greatest amount a little bit around today. A code orange was issued yesterday afternoon for yesterday and today, meaning poor air quality for sensitive groups. So kind of if you have some respiratory problems, you could be impacted today again. Today's high, 90 in Atlanta, 92 in Athens, 91 in Rome, north of that 86 in Elegy, but feeling well warmer than that until the storms roll in. And believe it or not, today is really the quietest day, Ashley, of the next seven. We get into a really robust pattern especially Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, with showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be strong, developing in the afternoon. So kind of today, even with the storms, about a 30% chance, a little quieter than what we've got coming down the pike for the week ahead.